Hi, my name is Liz Daly. I've worked here for about 30 years. Wow. I started in high school way back in the 70s, and I've been here for a long time. Ben Franklin's been here for 54 years in Belmont. Before that, it was Woolworths, um, starting in the 20s. So it's been a five and ten for a really long time. Five and ten was from the old days when things were actually five and ten cents. I think we have bubble gum that's left for five cents now. But it was just a term used to just um, describe, you know, the type of store as opposed to like a drugstore or something like that, which were really the only kind of stores that were available back then. There were no de no uh, department stores were just for clothing. There were no, you know, CVS's or um, Ann and Hope, Bradley's Target. None of those were around way back then. When I started, way back in the 70s, there were over 4,000 nationwide. Uh -huh. Yeah, they were centered out of Chicago, and we survived from our loyal customers. You know, everybody local that just, you know, runs in for, you know, a quick birthday present, school projects, sewing, and we've just, you know, we have a good mix of merchandise. I think our best seller is school projects. I mean, we have people running in, crazed mothers coming in five minutes before we close, poster board, project board, all kinds of art supplies. We have great toys for children. We have, and we have a, a newly enlarged book department, which is doing spectacular for us and the fabric. The notions, our notion salesman said we sell more than any of his other accounts in all of New England. Actually we've noticed as, as the economy had gone down a little bit we were selling quite a bit more in repairs. Patches, and thread, sewing, everyone sewing their holes. So it's, the fabric has done great for us. There's not very many places that have fabric anymore. We have great quality um, gift ideas. All our end caps are all, um, actually we color coord coordinate them for people that just kind of catch their eye for if you're, you know, Valentine's, we have you know, red end caps, all the really pretty red, you know, just little um, tchotchkes that people like to put around their house and things that are really you um, that you can really utilize in your house. <music> high school kids are great. We have the best high school kids and college. They go on for college. They come home on break and. We fit them right into the um, schedule, and they're, they're just loyal, and it's just so nice to see them interact with the customers. They're really genuinely just really polite and very helpful, so we've been lucky that way. Yeah, our best season is actually Halloween to Christmas. Halloween is definitely number two, but it's working its way right up there. Christmas, of course, is just spectacular for us. We have um, two seasonal aisles that we fill up with all great merchandise, and... We do really, really well for you know the local people, and of course, in Halloween we have the big outdoor um, Cushing Square Halloween days that you know we have over 500 children come and get candy on Halloween Day, which is very fun for us. Nephews, I get a lot of trade magazines. I get a lot of catalogs at my at my house. My mailman loves me. Uh, just all sorts of things coming in, and you know I go to some shows, and you know you can see what some new thing. We're always trying to find the new thing. Actually, the new thing is this Monsters, which is stemmed off from the balls, which we had at Christmas that we sold hundreds of. Yeah, it was a great thing. Yeah, it's always good when you find the right thing. And when Matt took over, he really didn't have an idea of, you know, a lot of the old-fashioned aspects of the store. He wanted everything new and modern and bright and cheery, which is fine, and, and we do well with that merchandise, but people are still looking for, you know, just the old, the hairnets, the sock donners, the old-fashioned items that we still have tucked in the corners of the store. The people come in and they're so happy that they've been searching everywhere for a certain merchandise. So we still keep that. And uh, we just have a little modern update on all of it. So keep everybody happy. We have like a, um, like a glass top for a percolator. People ask all the time and they're just so happy that they find that. The sock darners, people that still want to darn their socks. If you have a nice wool pair of socks, we have the wood darner. It sells like crazy. Liquid starch, we sell liquid starch and uh, some other products in the cleaning department that other regular stores just don't have anymore. And, and it's just, I know people come in and they're telling other customers as they walk up the aisle, oh, good I found. I think we'll be here for a good long time. We have faithful customers that come in all the time. We know, you know, a good half of their names and, you know, they know us and I think they feel, um, 
secure and happy to come in. We we get so many compliments on you know the merchandise that we carry and just that little thing that you can't find anyplace else. So it's um, been fun all these years and uh, I enjoy my job and it's um, rewarding to see things go out the door with people with a smile on their face.